Welcome back to the Wicked Kitchen, guys. Today we are gonna make this incredible comfort tofu pot pie. Little twist on it. We add phyllo instead of pie crust. Super easy. Get the kids involved. I'm joined by my little buddy here. What do you think? You excited? <laughs> We're gonna make these. Stay tuned. All right, so we are going to make this tofu pot pie. Super comforting dish. Are you ready? Yes? Okay, so when you have the littles involved, make sure that they have a job, very important. So your job right now while I'm cooking is you're gonna be taking these little leaves off the thyme. Does that make sense? Okay, so go ahead. You start doing that, put the leaves right there. See, and you put the stems up here. Can you do that with all of them? All right, so while he's doing that, I'm gonna fry up some tofu. We're gonna start off by a hot pan. We're gonna add plenty of oil, any kind of everyday olive or neutral oil works really well. You can get that nice and hot and we're gonna pan fry some tofu. All right, so that will be frying up for a little while. Can I put it here? That's perfect. You're doing a great job. Hey, hey buddy, didn't you have a song that went with this? Tofu filo pizza. So he's singing tofu filo peas and corn instead of the classic uh, pot pie crust. We're gonna use filo dough, and that's gonna make this super simple, okay? And that's what that's really what's it all about, what it's all about is whipping together these family meals really fast, okay? And pot pie is certainly one of them. So add the tofu to the pan. All I want is them to firm up and then to get fairly golden. You don't need them deep fried, you just need them to get fairly golden. All right, so we're gonna let that pan fry up. In the meantime, we're gonna dice up some veggies. So, a mirepoix, which is basically carrots, onions, and, and celery. Okay, so we're just gonna dice these up. You like celery, don't you? You wanna try some celery? Here, why don't you try some? You know what, you can have a carrot if you want. You're welcome. The nice thing about using, about making this pot pie is you can really just buy frozen diced vegetables. Make it super simple on yourself. Okay, a little bit of carrot in there. Let's go ahead and use the onion now too. All right, let's check out this tofu. Getting nice and golden, we're getting there. That's what you want, you want it to firm up. And make sure that when you're using the tofu, you're choosing extra firm. Here, we're gonna keep on cooking those down. One more ingredient, what's this? Um, no. Potato, it's a peeled potato. So I'm just using a basic russet, brown russet. You can use baby potatoes in here, you can use red russets, to perfectly fine. Yukon Golds, any kind of potato works. Okay, you can't have pot pie without a little bit of potatoes. All right, let's set that aside now. All right, so this tofu is nice and fried up. You can see it is nice and crisp. It tightened up a ton. So we just stop the heat there. We're going to remove that from the burner. I have a little bit of paper towels in here, you know, and I'm just gonna basically drain that and let that sit aside. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna heat this up, and then after I get these in, I'm gonna have you do the parsley, okay? Okay. Okay, cool, so just watch, ready? All right, add a little bit of oil to the pan. And fry it up. Yeah, we're gonna saute the, this is called mirepoix. This is carrots and celery and onions. So we're gonna use a roux for this. Now a roux is, it's a great way to create those thick sauces and also those gravies, all right? It's a great to start off with the roux. And so I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more fat and then we'll start it with, well, then we'll add some flour in there to create the roux. We also have some celery seed, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and add some sea salt just because it helps these vegetables sweat a little bit and I'll kind of season along the way, all right? A little bit of black pepper. That celery seed smells so good as it starts cooking. So I'm using a little bit of thyme. Now I'm not using a ton of thyme. You can use dried thyme also. I like to use fresh thyme. All right, so now that this mirepoix is cooking, nice and golden, 
This is a perfect time to now add the flour. Good job. That's good. I am now just basically making sure that flour is evenly distributed. And once that is, I'm gonna then add some non-dairy milk. Okay, make sure it's unsweetened. Then I have this unchicken broth, this non-chicken broth. You can use vegetable stock also, which is great. I'm using this because it's gonna give it an amazing flavor. And then as you add everything, you wanna make sure that you're whisking it up. And the reason that you're whisking is you wanna make sure there are no lumps, okay? So as it starts to cook, it's gonna thicken up. All right, so I'm whisking that up. Couple ingredients you wanna add right away, all right? So I wanna add the potatoes, because the potatoes take a little bit to cook. I'm gonna add potatoes. And they will also cook in the oven because we're gonna finish this in the oven. So we're gonna let this simmer. It is on a medium low. We're gonna bring this up to a simmer for about uh, anywhere from five to seven minutes or so, and it's gonna thicken it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of bay leaf during the cooking process. That'll really tie a lot of the flavors together. We'll come back once it's simmering and once it's a little bit thicker, we'll add the tofu, fried tofu, the peas and corn, a little knob of butter, finish the seasoning, hit it with herbs, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, add all of that. So we have the fried tofu going in there. Whoop. We have the fried tofu going in there. Then we're gonna add frozen peas and corn. Let's see how much this will hold, probably half. Okay, gonna snack on those. Super yummy, huh? All right, and then we're going to just stir that up. Oh, it just looks so good, it smells so good. Gonna hit a couple knobs of butter in there. And this is going to really just add that richness. All right, so we're gonna stir that up. Look at that, does that look good, buddy? Does that look yummy? Let's season it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of more pepper. I like it peppery. And then we have some parsley. You wanna help me pluck some of this, buddy? What do you think? You wanna help me take the leaves off? Let's take the leaves off that. So you can help me do it. We'll both do it together, okay? See, we're gonna take the leaves off. Well, you, you like this herb, don't you? He'll go out in the garden while we're gardening. And just to check on the plants, he, he's so responsible with all of the plants. So he'll walk around the garden and he'll check and he gets so excited when something's growing, huh? We're going to just stir this in. There's the butter in there, the salt and pepper in there, the parsley. All right, you ready to fill up the cups? I need a helper for this. Okay, so the oven is preheated to about 350, 375. Ready? I'm gonna, we're gonna fill that up probably about 80% of the way, all right? You can easily make a pie crust like we talked about, but this is phyllo dough. You can buy any vegan phyllo dough. There's lots of it. What we're gonna do here is take out just a couple sheets. So I'm gonna cut this phyllo, tofu phyllo peas and corn, peas and corn, right? I'm gonna cut this phyllo into long strips, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go around the top of these like this, like this. So they're nice and crumpled on top. You don't want it to sink in there. So I'm basically just taking it and just kind of lightly crumbling it on top. So to finish this up, we have a little bit of spray olive oil. Just gonna spray it. This is spray olive oil. This is so it gets nice and golden. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be so nice. All right, so I'm gonna put these in the oven. Like I said, 350, 375, it's fine. And you really only cook them until these are golden and it's bubbling over. These are gonna be so good. Let's put them in the oven now. This is ready. You can see that it's all bubbling still. This looks so good. And these are nice and crispy on top. These are gonna be perfect. I let these sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and that way everything settles, the starches settle and it thickens up really nice and then I'll serve them at the dinner table, okay? All right, so let's serve one of these up on this plate. All right, let's do the final garnish, ready? Perfect. Put it right on top. That's perfect too, right there. All right, there you have a super comforting tofu pot pie. If you like this recipe, be sure you subscribe on our channel here. Thank you so much for watching and joining us guys today. What do you think, how was that? Okay, high five. Thanks for being an awesome sous chef. See you next time, guys. 
All right, so this is what we're working on. We are going to make this. On video shoot. Yes, we are. Ready? 